Recently, Member of Parliament Peter Kyle stood up in the House of Commons and gave a very interesting and stirring speech on his dyslexia. Now, apart from the fact that Peter Kyle joins a long, long list of very successful dyslexic politicians, including, we believe, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Eleanor Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, Abraham Lincoln, and possibly both the George Bush presidents. Apart from the fact that he joins these very august politicians as being a, a, a great example of a dyslexic politician, what he said brought about a very deep, deep question for us as a society. He said at one point that at school he was assessed as being of a reading age when he was a teenager uh, of an eight-year-old. He was in the bottom one percentile of, uh, of word recognition and the top one percentile of word association. Now this is very, very interesting from a dyslexic point of view. What it shows is people with dyslexia tend to find that they are extremely good at some things and not so good at others, like everyone. And our school system still insists on grading us and judging us on a very narrow band of criteria. We need to re-examine what we mean when we talk about success at school. People like Peter Kyle, who says he has to work twice as hard for certain aspects of his job, and yet still gets attacked by people on Twitter for making spelling mistakes. People like Peter Kyle are at the forefront, they're at the cutting edge of this battle we have for what it means to be successful. At school, you're successful if you can spell things correctly, if you can remember facts. People with dyslexia, we have a different criteria. We have a different set of success criteria. For us, we're successful if we can see the big picture. We're successful if we can make connections between one thing and another. We're successful when we can problem solve and communicate the solution that we found. For Peter Kyle to have to stand up in the House of Commons and fight his corner in the House of Commons as a successful member of parliament. For him to have to do that shows deeply that we, as a society, do not understand what success means. And if we don't understand what success means, well, as a country, we're in a lot of trouble.